Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Minions of Mirth. So I went ahead and made a new world, uh, so that I wouldn't be um, getting all the money from uh, all my other characters on my main world. And this way we can level up together and show you the game as it is. So... Um, I went ahead and came here first. This is the warrior trainer, and I went ahead and turned in his um, his symbol that he gets and got him a warrior blade. I'm going to go ahead and save this for later. It's a long sword. Uh, if we don't find anything better before the time he gets to wield, then we'll, we'll um, use that sword. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, hey. Wait, hey you huh? <laughs> okay so the next thing we need to do is go up here and we're gonna go to the ranger trainer which is this guy he's red bark and we'll go ahead and talk to him and hand in bag of kins foil okay there we go and uh, let's go ahead and go into the inventory we got a breastplate for him as well. By the way, the reason I'm selling or getting rid of the plain shirts is they just don't give you money. Um, all right, so we'll add that to there. And then we got a hunter's bow, and we'll compare it real quick. So here is the bow that we had, which is a short bow. And this is the bow that we got. So the difference is uh, it is 6 damage, 7 delay, versus this, which is 2 damage, 12 delay. And, um, yeah, so the range is higher as well. This was 12. And uh, also this has one more repair point. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and keep this. We're going to put it on Bragus because he is our salesman. He's the guy who I sell everything on because I'm usually targeting um, him to heal people. Uh, or at least that's how I usually act in my groups is just have the cleric be on notice to heal anybody at any given time. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and choose the monk. And we'll hand in our worn sandals. There we go. And we also want to talk to this person and ask what now? The life of a monk requires balance and mindfulness. And the monk's path is rife with challenge. To help you on your... Uh, wait a minute. To help you on this challenge, I will tell you of three rings. But first... Prove yourself worthy by returning to me with four items from common animals. A moat rat tail, bat fangs, a bear pe or hide, and a snake fang. I will speak to you further then. I will go now then. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into here. And we got a robe. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And this is a pretty nice robe. Oh, I forget, whenever you open this, you can't go over here to, like, oh, there, look at that, that's a nice stuff right there, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but yeah, he has um, 8 strength, 6 agility, 6 reflex, and 6 body. So very nice, and 10 armor. Also, uh, one of the thing is this doesn't have repair requirements, so that means that whenever you're fighting, if you get hit in the chest that you don't have to worry about repairing this. Uh, it's innate, um, which is nice. So let's go ahead and continue on. And um, yeah, so the ring quest that he just got is a very, very nice quest. It, um, it gives you this quest line that goes all the way up to 75. And actually, to get the, the rings normally solo, you have to be higher than 75 because of the mobs that you have to fight. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to this person. We're on our cleric. Hand in flask of purity. There we go. And we got a new staff. This we can sell, I believe, because it's, yeah, it's just a basic mace. There we go, and pretty sure I can't sell that. 
No, I don't think so. Either way, it's not much money that it'll give us. Also, you can come to this individual and they will allow you to resurrect for free or for money to get experience back. So, right off the bat, if I'm not wrong, you get experience um, loss whenever you die. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and head over to the Bard, which is um, the last melee character that we need to hand in stuff for. And then our wizard, Jablazzle, um, which if you've been listening to any of the... Um, any of the EverQuest stuff, whenever I'm on with AC Gamer and them, that's just become my catchphrase, I guess? <laughs> um, I think I said it once or twice, and um, now they, <laughs> they say it wrong, I think, so that I can say it the right way. Um, but it's, it's kind of a fun little saying I came up with. Um, and now on my wizard... Um, they asked me to um, use it as my, um, uh, whenever the spell is about to go off. So you type, you have the macro casting this spell, spell cast, and once it ends, uh, it says shablazzle. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm, I'm kind of happy about it, to, to be honest. It, it allows me to have some kind of catchphrase or, or whatever. So now we're going to go ahead and hand in our drum, and we're going to get some nice things. Now, I don't understand why we get this, but we're going to go ahead and put it on um, our cleric. Let's go ahead and click back on Verado. He gets a breastplate with mind and strength, which is amazing. There we go. And then he also gets a longsword. What? No, no. Longsword is what I'm holding. We'll put this down here for whenever he gets still willed. And this gives you 5 mine. It's 8 damage, 12 delay. Which compared to 4 damage, 23 delay. And most likely by the time that we can dual wield, we will have a better sword than this. So I'm not really worried about that so much. Alright, so let's go ahead and head over to, um, to the wizard trainer and then we're done for now. This is the longest part for me because I like to get all this done as soon as possible. When you're first starting the game, you don't, you may not know to do this. You may, you may just wait and then um, later go on and find your trainer. But I think, um, let's go to our wizard. I think if you right click it, uh, present, yeah, present this book to frizzle fry yeah all right so this is probably my favorite starter item it's not great it's not a great item but this is my favorite um class based character item here we go and we'll turn in the booklet and come on we get a pipe <laughs> we get a wizard's pipe <laughs> that is amazing all right so let's go ahead and uh, turn that in. We'll go ahead and close this. Now, we will have to come back in here to get spells. Uh, the wizard actually starts out with all their spells to level 5. Um, the cleric and the bard don't. But we don't have any money right now, so we'll, we're going to have to wait on that. Um, trying to see if there's any quests that we can, look, that we can get while we're here. Um... I know that there's the wheat quest, but we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to get wheat for that. And this guy, once we get it faction, he will tell us about a shield that we can get. And um, I think the first quest we'll want to do is to kill the bears. And the reason I say that is because number one, you're getting experience for it. Number two, we need um, the bear pelt for our monk. And uh, number three, we will be helping the kinsfolk of, I think they're gnomes, <laughs> to get into get into the town. So we'll, we'll go get that quest, and then we'll work on killing bears for a little bit. Now, the main quest is going to take us to the top of this tower, and we're just not ready for it. We're going to die if we even try it. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. Thrand. Here we go. 
My kinsmen and I wish to enter Trinst. However, there are several black bears barring our safe entry. I have asked the guards for assistance, but they seem to have bigger problems to contend with, and I can't be uh, and can't be bothered with such a minor nuisance. Can you be of assistance? Why, well, yes, I can, buddy. <laughs> okay, um, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, one of the things that I have to do is if if this quest is going to um, if the quest is going to give us presents, then I have to do the quest for every character. Uh, if it doesn't give us presents, then we only have to do it once. So we're gonna kill the black bears. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's lag. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... There we go. And, whoa, Halo. So, this is a druid spell. And, or, spell upgrade. So, we need to save that. We're gonna... We'll put that in the bank. Um, one of our characters will be a, a, a druid at some point. But, um... Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Wait, wait, kick resisted. Kick resisted. Come on, guys. Kill it. Kill that bear. All right. So, yeah, we want to get pelts. Um, the first pelt is going to go to Ishtak um, just because it's for their quest. The rest will go to um, Bragus. Bragus will actually be the person turning in the quest. And then, um, yeah, so there are tons of quests in this game. There's, yeah, <laughs> there's tons isn't, isn't enough. There's much, much more than, more than that. If we actually go to our encyclopedia, that's not our encyclopedia. If we go to our encyclopedia, this is the biggest thing in the game. If you have any question, need help with anything, use this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say quests. And then this is all the quests in the game. That's all of it. That's and then there's several parts to each quest. Um, <laughs> uh, there's the Fellowship of Light version. There's the uh, MOD Minions of Darkness and the Monster version. So we'll definitely need to find where that starts. Fellowship of Light. Lore Master of Trenced. Broken companion locket right item given. Okay. Hey bear. Hey hey buddy. Okay, um let's see. Reward rewarded by undead fellowship. Taken by okay. Well anyway. We'll have to we'll have to work on on that, um, but yeah we we need to do that. I've never done that quest line before. Oh yeah, we've had most of our people level except for our wizard and monk, and that's because they're on different modifiers. Yay! Okay. Um. All right. We need to go ahead and click ourselves and heal them. We also need to put our buff on our bard. And the reason I'm not casting with my wizard right now is just because he would get devastated if he gets hit. Now we can um, we can kite mobs around. So like if we take this bear down here, we'll take that one, and we'll just shoot him. Then we'll start casting our next. Spell. Actually, who needs anybody else? <laughs> we do need the stats, though. We need the skills for, for the melee and everything. The good thing about a wizard is they can, uh, once we get to a certain point, we'll be power leveling ourselves with the wizard just because of how powerful they are. Um, let's see. Do we have any of the items yet? We have no bear pelts as of yet. But we have gotten a level, so that's good. We want to try to get to level 5 before we go into the tower. Now, the tower is going to have mobs that aren't level 5. But uh, the key holder... 
um, is a level five mob, I think, or close there. And the um, the last guy is level five, if I remember correctly. Ooh, plate. No one can use it, but we'll we'll take it. We'll also sell it as well. All right, so do that. I think Red Bark has his attack in there. Oh, it's out of range. Wow, his bow <laughs> does not have much range on it. All right. There we go. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Nice shaman spell. Take all of it. I want all of that stuff. <laughs> Uh, anything that we don't use right away, we'll put it in the bank. Um, but yeah, it's still going to be uh, something that we'll use. Uh, you can use some items in cooking, some it items in poison making. Uh, we'll need it all. And then anything that isn't those, we'll sell it. Like all the armor, we'll be able to actually get... Um, actually, we should probably go to town and train... Our wear. Oh, yeah. Look at those deeps. Look at those deeps. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what is this one? Um, nice. Okay, that's a, uh, that's, um, uh, a teleport spell okay I'm pretty sure we have enough items now we have three okay let's go ahead and turn it in and if we get presents then we'll have to do the rest for everybody else but I don't think it does okay I have relieved you of your problem okay so we got um, we unlocked the bear um, the black bear cub monster template so to become a monster in this game, you have to have templates. And this will allow us to be, um, yeah, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this quest. And um, we're going to have to do this several times. We'll just have to do the in mob kill. But what I plan to do is I'm going to go up. I'm going to um, I'm gonna get the key, kill Kinnich the first time. And then after that, I'll do the rest offline. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. I'm so embarrassed. I closed my eyes for just a second and Kinnish snuck into the guard tower. Chancellor Tullum must not find out about this or I'll lose my post. This post, sorry. Kinnich is of the vile minions of darkness realm. I am unsure how she managed to leave Koldar and arrive in Trinst without raising some suspicion of her intentions. Anyway, she has locked herself into the upper room. Would you be interested in removing her from the tower? <gasps> I will. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start just clearing out everything. Oh, I <laughs> turned everything off and then turned everything or on and then off. Okay, do a little kick. Do a little dance. Dun, dun, mm, mm. Okay, I think that's the first thing. We'll <laughs> keep it anyway. Um, there's so many potion making uh, or poison making quests in the game. Uh, it's hard to tell what is for what. Go ahead and get that. Get that, of course. We need to go train our monk, our warrior, our ranger, and our bard in a skill that's learned at the at the uh, warrior trainer. But I don't know. I don't know what level they get it. I think level one though. Um, we'll work on that in a little bit though. We're gonna go ahead and try to take out this top person. Um, come on, little guy. Come on, little buggy bug. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got some levels again. 
Nice. Get that. Get that. Nothing there. All right. So we only have one more floor, I think, after this. Not not the next. Yeah. Well, it's two floors. Two floors. I'm sorry. Uh, two floors, and we will be at the named. All right. There we go. And this next one should level us. All right. All right, so let's go in here because our wizard does have all their spells on them. Um, let's see, this is Icy Touch. Spells. Lightning Spark. Get Icy Touch. And then we also get uh, Fire Shock. Spell. This is a fire-based spell, so we go into the fire, grab that, put that there. Oh, I didn't know they, they could jump that high. And then we'll go ahead and get this as well. All right. So the plan is, whenever we go to kill Kinnich, I'm going to have my cleric um, heal the wizard. I'm going to have the wizard cast non-stop. And hopefully, we'll be able to handle it. Um, ooh, nice. Helmets on both of these guys. Um, the helmets sell for a good amount of money. So we'll be able to um, afford some of the items that we need to get. get uh, to be able to afford our spells. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. And then we have another one over here. Ah, Look at the poor guy. He just died instantly. He was like, he, he got shocked. He was like shocked that everything was happening. How could it happen like that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. So we are now doing some, some damage. All right, so this is how this is going to work. Okay, um, we're going to go around the corner ASAP, we're going to target out this person, and I'm going to go ahead and start casting. Start casting. And I just need to make sure that... What is going on with that? Oh, alpaca's dead. Alpaca's dead. There we go. All right. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Get that. Ooh. Got some items here. Let's see. We got... Reanimate Sketch. Of course, that's going to be... We're not even going to take that. It's not worth much. We definitely need that. And we definitely need that. All right. Okay. Everyone's healed. Um, apparently, Red Bark was taking most of the damage, but he has a, a melee attack bonus. So, all right. <laughs> Let's just observe this situation here. We are all level three. Three? Three. And we're about to take on a level 5 Necromancer or Shadow Knight. I forget which one she is. And she's a troll, which means she has a good amount of health. Let's go ahead and get her targeted. Oh, and she has her shield, which could be a warrior shield or it could be another shield. Um, Alright. Let's go ahead and have him target her first. And then I'm going to have him target. All right. Let's just go. Let's do it. Just tab. Go ahead and have. What? How are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Well then, and we got the warrior shield also. All right, so we're gonna give the skull to the warrior, and we're gonna give the um, the shield to him as well. And uh, yeah, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and throw that on there. Get that, and then we'll go ahead and put. We'll destroy that with the corpse. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to do this um, five more times. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I want to do this one really short. I'll get everything for the next few quests. And then we will convene back here uh, next time. So thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.